Okay, so this is not what you're accustomed to seeing when you look at Covenant House. This is an organization that for almost 40 years has been providing shelter for homeless, abused, and abandoned youth between the ages of 18 and 24. And you can see it's being torn down, but that's not a bad thing because it's making way for a new facility to serve even more young people in distress. Kurt Nondorf and Steve Beagle seem like normal guys. But once a year, they sleep outside on the pavement, not for fun, but to raise money for Covenant House. Welcome, guys. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. It should be said that I know them well because I've been involved with emceeing the events and I've almost slept out almost every year. <laughs> We're eventually going to get you, <laughs> man, bro. Almost. I don't know, man. I, and I don't even have a Tempur-Pedic, as Mac likes to say. <laughs> but so tell me about this. this. This process, every year you do it, how many years have you slept out? It's 11 years for me. It's 11 years that we've done it, and I'm, this is my 11th year. Both of you are on the board. We should say that as Correct. well. Correct. This will only be my 10th year. Okay, so you're, you're the rookie to him. Exactly. Uh, but you can't talk, catch up. I, but it's worked out. It's been a really good way to draw attention to what Covenant House does, right? Yeah, of course. We do it not because we think we can replicate what it's like to be homeless and on the street, but because it brings awareness to the problem and helps us raise money. Uh, the event this year, our goal is a million two hundred fifty thousand dollars. We're about, oh, maybe uh, two thirds of the way there. So uh, we've got another week, and we uh, hope that people will get involved, go to our website, and make a donation. I'm sorry. Repeat that goal again. A million two hundred fifty thousand. That's what you said. Two hundred fifty thousand. Steve, can you remember? The early days when some of those early goals and how much less they were than a million two? Yes, yeah, so we started out, I think we raised 250,000, I think, the first year. Yeah. Uh, but last year we raised 1.25 million. Right. Uh, and we're hoping to meet or exceed that again this year. And who are the kinds of people who typically come to sleep out? I mean, it's called the executive sleep out. So you go to people who are running their companies or in C-suites for the most part, that sort of thing. Is that the level that you, did you uh, attract every year? That is the uh, profile we're looking for for the executive sleep out. And, and what we've been doing over the last several years is getting more companies involved where it becomes a corporate initiative. Mm -hmm. We have several partners that have really come on strong behind us and we're hoping to expand that and get more companies involved. We're not just the leadership of the companies involved, but they get their employees right. involved as well and it becomes uh, something that the, the whole company can do together. In, in, it's an easy cause to get behind. It is. Kurt, talk about the cause and why you're doing it. I mean, Covenant House really serves young people who really, really need it. Uh, and you get a chance. I know that there's a lot of times on the sleep out night, you give people a little chance to go and see the reality of what these young people are going through. Yeah, of course, our main thrust is 18 to 24 year olds who uh, don't have a place to stay. And uh, money that we raise through this uh, event has over the period of time that we've been doing this allowed us to house about 4,000 kids mm. to provide jobs for about 1,200 and to provide 720,000 nights of shelter. Mm. So if you think about taking these kids at a time that's crucial in their lives where they can go one direction that's going to end up badly or another direction that might make them productive citizens over time, this is an extremely important time to be able to work with those children to make sure that they are getting the care that they need, unconditional love, respect, and hope for the future. And now a new facility is going to be going up. Talk about what the plans are for that. Well, we are in our Building for Life campaign, uh, which is to completely redevelop the, our campus uh, near Westheimer and Montrose. Uh, the facilities we have have been, were not purpose designed. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, have, they were functionally obsolete. They had just been worn out. Uh, and we house, uh, pre-COVID, we were housing 110 to 120 kids a night. Um, and that ranges from kids who were just there for the night, come in, get a bed, uh, a place to wash their clothes, a place to bathe, uh, a place to be safe for the night, get a warm meal. Uh, to p kids who are in our rites of passage program where they stay with us, they can stay with us for uh, years. They're either working or going to school or both while they're with us, uh, but they're also being provided medical care, uh, spiritual care, uh, psych psychiatric care, dental care, all full range of, of the care they need.
Then you've just described why Covenant House is such a gem for this community and what you do as an organization. Is it too late to sign up? And what people, what do people have to do if they want to sign up to either sleep out or to just donate? It's never too late to sign up. Uh, we ask that people who do sign up raise $5,000, either give or get. And uh, you can go to our website, it's www.covenanthousetx.org. And even if you can't sleep out, you can certainly donate. And we have, uh, as part of it, uh, the night of the event on November 17th, you very well know because you emceed it many times, our candlelight vigil, uh, where we will pray over the kids, pray over the staff, pray over our sleepers, have some great music, enjoy each other's company, and then we'll actually go out and feed the homeless, minister to the homeless, come back, work with the kids, talk to them a little bit, learn more about them, and then somebody gives you a cardboard box, you go out and find your spot, and experience what it's like to sleep on that cement. And it's not often very kind to the body. Right. It's a way to make sure that people remember what the young people who don't have any other choice are doing. Absolutely. So, thank you, Kurt, Steve, for what you do for Covenant House. You're, as I said, you're a blessing for this community. Hopefully people will uh, go on the website and be able to find that. I'm going to put the information on my website, the newsmakers page on clicktohouston.com. And I hope that you'll go to it and, and help out. Once thank again. you so much. And thank you for emceeing the event many years in the past. You've been a great supporter. We really appreciate I it. I love the organization. And uh, we're going to do every, everything we can to get people to come out and do that. So. We do want to make sure we mention that it is the, the candlelight visual and the sleep out are being held at the ION, which is Rice University's redevelopment right. of the old Sears store right. uh, on South Main. So we're excited about that location. Plenty of room for everybody to come out for our Open candlelight. to the public at 530. Good deal. All right. Well, it's good to know. And we'll put that on our website as well. Thank you, guys. Great. Thank, Thank you, you Campbell. We really appreciate it.